He was crucified, died. God died. This is a different kind of religion. Every story in every other religion, gods don't die. Or if they do, they weren't the good ones. Or if they were, it wasn't the victory. The hero can die. But for us, this is actually where the victory is found, not defeat. God died. He who was became not for you. The Son of God died. The Father didn't die. The Holy Spirit didn't die. But the Son died for you. The Son willingly went to not just suffering, not just torture, but the last great enemy, death itself, to pull you back out of it. The Father sent the Son. The Holy Spirit declares this gift to you because the whole of the Trinity is working in your redemption simply in this. God died for you because Jesus is God and Jesus died. That means that when we look into the grave, we no longer look into something that is dead end. Pun? Wordplay? Not really. I don't know. Because God pulls us back out. When we look to this, that God died, we can also recognize that ours is not a religion that's ever going to be rooted in us getting better. This is the symbol of our religion. It is a dead Jesus hanging on a cross. This is the summation of everything that we strive for, a dead Jesus hanging on a cross. That doesn't mean then that Christianity is about looking good, getting better, becoming more. It's about running towards a place where God would run into the least, the worst, the most awful, the last great enemy, death, to pull us back out. When we confront, then, what kind of God we have, we can confront the kind of world we live in. If Christianity isn't about self-improvement because our symbol is God dying, that also means that Christianity doesn't have to be limited by us still struggling, us still suffering, us still dying. It even means I know where to find God when we are. I know where to find God when death is nearby. He's dying on the cross. I know where to find God when everything is falling apart. He's dying on a cross. This victory that we have, it doesn't look like the world's victory. See, for us, the world's victory has to be, no, last second, not dead, tricked you, and now I win. Now I come back with the big hammer. Now I beat the bad guys up with the big hammer, and now I'm in charge, and now things are better. God won his victory for you when he died. And that means when everything is falling apart, God is actually doing the most work. God is actually saving God is actually healing because in his death, you are given life. See, Jesus, who took all of your sins, all of my sins, all of the sins of all the world, and actually bore the punishment of them unto death. That means it is finished. The punishment's paid. That means that when that, that, that moment happens, everything comes undone. Everything that we think can destroy us comes unmade. See, the wages of sin is death. The things that are ruined in this world, broken in this world, happened because somebody sinned. You, me, or someone else. But God bore all of it to the very last bit, the end. And so those sins are forgiven. The punishment has been paid. The wrath has been poured out. And if there's no more sin, death is going to start to unravel. This is why it's the victory. Death unravels when Jesus enters in, so that you would have life. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.